When you're working in 3D space, you need to be aware of the coordinate system so you can reorient yourself and place objects in position relative to one another and relative to the environment. What you're looking at here is the world coordinate system. This is like the home position. The XYZ triad in the corner down here is showing you which direction is, is positive X, positive Y, and positive Z. Obviously, what you see here is sitting on a plane. This is Z0, and if I place anything in here, Let's go ahead to the home position and just place a rectangle on the screen. And no matter what I do, it's going to always be on that plane. So if I keep hitting points, if I wanted to put a rectangle up 90 degrees, I'd have to reorient myself because I'm working at the world coordinate system level. So in order for me to, let's say, for example, put a rectangle on the side over here at 90 degrees and put, a, put an edge on here, a face on this, build a box, with 2D geometry like this, I'd have to change this coordinate system and re reposition it and borrow this triad and basically reorient it along the, the axis and the, the plane that I want to work on. So let's get rid of these two objects. I'm going to delete those. And I'm going to come over here to Layer Manager and I'm going to go, I have surfaces I want to place. So let's, let's say I want to place Surface 1. Double click and move off the screen. And now I'm going to place my first surface using the basic world coordinate system right here. Now I'm going to move up a little bit, pan over, and let's go to surface. I'm going to place a planar surface right here. I'm going to key in 0, 0, and that will establish the first point. This is just like 2D. You're working on a, on a plane, and we're going to place the next one at, at 7 on the X, comma 5 on the Y. And there's my plane. So when I tip that up and move it around, you'll see there we are. And you'll notice a navigation cube up here, that's the top view. So if I click top view, you'll see that we're now we're hovering above that position looking down. So let's go back to that southeast orientation, move out a little bit, and so on. So now there's our position. You notice that, that the chord system is still there. Now, what I want to do is I want to draw something in the right-hand side over here. I want to place a on each end of this rectangle, I want to place a 5x5 five five plate or a surface also. So let's go ahead and now we want to make a change. So let me zoom in a little bit. I'll come over here to the zoom commands, zoom real time, move in a little bit closer, right click and exit. And I chose that zoom by holding it down, clicking it right there, holding it down and coming down to zoom real time. That's what I did. Okay. Now, Let's go ahead and place that next surface. So what, in order to place this next surface up here, I have to rotate this around the y-axis so that my x and y are in the position where the z and the y is. Let me show you what happens. I'm going to go to View, and I'm going to go to Rotate the, 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 coordinate, the uh, User Coordinate System. I'm going to rotate around the y-axis. Now, the right-hand rule says if I rotate this and I want the x to be up to where the z is, I'm going to have to go in negative 90. So I'm going to key in negative 90 and watch the reorientation of that. So now look at the grid and if I move this around you'll see we're now on that plane. There we are. So let's go ahead and put in another surface on there, another planar surface. I'm going to go back in. I want Surf 2 as my layer. Different color so we can visualize. Now I'm going to go back to surface. Planar surface. 0 comma 0. And since this is a 5 by 5 square, I'll just key in 5 comma 5 because I'm working off the XYZ axis. There it is. Now, there's a couple things I can do. But to prove this point, I'm going to continue with this discussion on the coordinate system. I'm going to really pos I'm going to position this coordinate down to this corner. All right. So again, I'm going to real time zoom over here. Just zoom in a little bit closer. Right click and exit. I'm going to go back to view and I'm move the origin of the coordinate system. I want to pick it up, make sure my snap is turned on. It is. Pick this point right here and click. And now you'll notice that I've moved that plane, that work plane, over. That's basically what you're doing. You're creating a work plane. Now I'm going to create the next plane on there. So I'm going to come over for surface number three, different color. Now let's go ahead and surface, planar surface, zero comma zero and 5 comma 5. There it is. Now I'm going to go back to the world coordinate system and you'll notice also that over here 
what's happened is our it's, it says unnamed. That means we're working with with coordinate systems that we've established that we haven't really named or want to or want to keep. These are temporary coordinate systems just to get things in position. I'm going to come over here and click and say I'm going to go back to world coordinate system and the the system now re uh, reveals itself in the corner here at zero 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 where we had in the beginning. Now I could also do this. Since I'm working on this plane, if I want to put a plane across the top over here to cap this off on the very top, I could simply come over and go to the home uh, uh, tab on my ribbon bar and then come over and say copy. But let's go ahead and just continue. We could copy this up to here. So let me go through that. We'll copy this surface here. Enter. Base point here. And another point up here. Done. But what I want to do is use the coordinate system. So I'll just pick this surface and delete it. Staying with the theme here. Let's go to view. And I'm going to move the origin of the coordinate system up to here. And there it is. So if I look at my construction plane, that's exactly where I want to be. So I'm going to go to my surface 3. That's surface 4. There it is. Double click. Now I want my fourth surface to be surface planar. Again, zero comma zero, and I'm going to have this one's going to be seven comma five. Or I can come over here and just click on this point right here. There. So once you have geometry in place, you can put those either by selecting a point or keying the coordinate. Now this is really I'm showing you with surfaces just to visualize so you can see the colors here, and and begin to see where things are being placed. But in reality, this really is useful for placing 2D geometry in 3D space. There's no other way you can really get those oriented unless you change the coordinate system. Let's go back and go from a UCS to WCS. We're back to the home position again, and that's where we started.